What's up everybody guys, welcome back to Mia Marlon tutorial. It's continuation of this video. So if you are interested in the scanning for the Gaussian splatting, I recommend to watch that. But don't worry, I share the PLY file, so uh, you don't need to scan it. So you can start uh, with this uh, tutorial without scanning uh, your geometry. So now also I already uh, downloaded install the uh, Ruma AI plugin if you don't go to the notion and then download the uh, sample file and in the sample file uh, it has a plugin folder which uh, include a, a Ruma AI plugin so let's uh, copy uh, this one and paste it on your project so in my project this one plugins for the I have a plugins folder and uh, that include the Luma AI file, which is uh, exactly the same one. Okay. Also, uh, you need to download the PLI file. Uh, I paste the link uh, in description so you can uh, download my scans. So, okay, let's start uh, how to uh, make the dynamic lighting and for the VJ. So, First of all, I'm gonna uh, create a uh, new uh, folder. I call it maps and open up. And I'm gonna uh, add the new thing. So I'm gonna select the uh, new level and the, the basic. Save it. So uh, I'm gonna delete what I don't need. So I'm gonna delete this one. It's cube. And I'm gonna delete the directional light. Uh, I'm gonna use the sky atmosphere and volumetric cloud players. Okay, so uh, if you download the uh, PLI file I, that I already pasted it in the description, so let's uh, import this one. So this is the trial. So I'm gonna uh, drag into the project. So they have a three. No, four of the four type of their uh, blueprint, and I'm gonna use the GS trial dynamics. So before that, I'm gonna save the, all of them and drop it. And I'm gonna click on the, this uh, mark uh, to uh, change the transform. Okay. So uh, now it's so uh, dark because I don't have uh, any light. So now, first of all, I'm gonna. Uh, use the skylight and I don't I don't uh, use the real-time capture I'm gonna use the specified cube map and I'm gonna select the Islam scene playable cube and the intensity scale is uh, 0 0.5 and uh, it's so like bright uh, because I didn't uh, toggle off the auto exposure so let's go to the project setting and I'm gonna search the auto exposure and I'm gonna uh, toggle off to the horse. So now it's really good. Okay, uh, I'm gonna add the uh, spotlight and I'm gonna bring it here. I'm gonna change the uh, location and I'm gonna use it for like this one. And then uh, if you change the, uh, the fog intensity, so fog intensity is 0 0.05. And then uh, I'm gonna go to the volumetric floor and if I click on that, so now uh, we can see the uh, volumetric floor. So I need to change the spotlight and the intensity. So let's uh, type the 50 and then uh, change the angle is like a 20. Yes, now you can see the fog, volumetric floor in this scene. That's really cool, right? So uh, I'm gonna change the uh, the transform of the exponential height ball and uh, x is 0, y is 0 and then z is 550 so now it's more uh, good uh, fog so uh, I'm gonna dr drag and drop the camera I also want to uh, add the camera leak so I'm gonna go to the cinematic and then I'm gonna select the camera uh, leak 
layout. And I'm going to drop to the scene. And I'm going to change the uh, location. It is uh, minus 860. Uh, y is 25. Set to is minus 160. And I'm going to change the rotation to 10. So uh, I'm going to attach the uh, camera actor to the camera leg in the, like this one. And I need to change the uh, location. And X is uh, 56. And Y is uh, 0. And uh, Z is uh, 36. And also I'm going to change the rotation as well. Uh, the y X is a uh, Zero point minus zero point five. Uh, y is one, and z is minus six. So now, uh, if I change the uh, current position layer, I can change the location of the camera. So uh, let's make the uh, level blueprint. Before do that, I'm gonna save the this map here, and I'm gonna call it uh, GS. Well, okay, so let's open the uh, level blueprint. So, and I'm gonna drag and drop the uh, Cine Camera Actor and also Camera Lake Wales. And I'm gonna uh, dock uh, to the window. And first of all, I'm gonna get uh, get uh, player get player controller. And now uh, from the get player controller, I'm gonna add the set uh, view target with brand, and I'm gonna connect it to the new view target uh, from the uh, cine camera actor, and I'm gonna hook it up, and now uh, we can uh, uh, select the camera uh, to the viewport, and also I want to uh, move the. Uh, the layer, so I'm gonna say get the set uh, current position on layer, and uh, I'm gonna add the new variable. I'm gonna call it the time, and I'm gonna change the type to the float, and I'm gonna get time, and I'm gonna add the operator, and I'm gonna uh, hook it up from the delta second, and I'm gonna at the set time and I'm gonna set time to here and I'm gonna connect it and uh, I'm gonna uh, at the multiply uh, from here and then the variable is 0 0.1 and from here I'm gonna at the sign and the Latin and also I want to use the abs time uh, no abs uh, function uh, because the layer, the range of the uh, current position on layer uh, 0 to 1. So, and I'm gonna connect it and also connect it. And I'm gonna uh, compile this one. And if I uh, click on this one, so now you know, like I change the uh, transform along the layer. And also, viewport is uh, uh, this camera. So, really cool, right? Uh, I want to uh, make it audio reactive. So, which means I uh, make the OSC received and uh, I'm gonna make the audio reactive uh, uh, spotlight. So, it's really simple. So, uh, I'm gonna add the new uh, folder. So, I'm gonna call it the blueprint and I'm gonna open up and I'm gonna add the new blueprint. And this is actor and I'm gonna call it BP OSC received or see received and save it and I'm gonna go to the plugin folder just in case I'm gonna search the OSC so I didn't uh, enable the OSC so I'm gonna toggle on and I'm gonna uh, restart the project and I'm gonna save the all of them so uh, let's go to the map and then GS trial and I'm gonna open the blueprint and then PPOC let's see. And I'm gonna uh, click on the open blueprint. And first of all, I'm gonna add the new variable. So first one is uh, receive port. So uh, 
pipe is integer and I'm gonna add the new one with based IP address the type is the string okay cool and I'm gonna add the create OSC server and I'm gonna drop the OSC C port and also IP address and I'm gonna hook it up here okay cool and from the OSC server I'm gonna promote the variable and I'm gonna call it OSC server and from the OSC server I'm gonna add the new one find event on OSC message receive and I'm gonna connect it and I'm gonna add the uh, new uh, at the custom event uh, from the bind OSC on OSC message receive and I'm gonna call it on OSC received and it has a message and IP address port so now from here I'm gonna add, uh, get OSC uh, message address and I'm gonna connect it to here the message and next one is uh, convert OSC address to string. So now we can see the uh, address of the uh, OSC and we can get their uh, address as a string. So next one is uh, get OSC message, uh, message string at the index. And I need to connect the, this message to here. So I'm gonna organize uh, this one into here and then I'm gonna uh, add the lunch and then if it's true I'm gonna print string of the value and also I'm gonna copy and paste also I'm gonna uh, print the, uh, the address and then last things that I need to do is uh, uh, make the event dispatcher. So I'm gonna call it on OSC received. So, and this event dispatcher needs uh, some inputs. So, I'm gonna add the new input, and this is a address type is a string, and the second one is a value, also string. It's okay. So I'm gonna drag and drop to the event dispatcher on the viewport and I'm gonna select the call and I'm gonna connect the call and also is the host is called. No, I don't need to do that. And then uh so I'm gonna uh hook it up to the value from the value. I need to organize this one. I'm gonna use it here, okay, and then value is here. And also the address is uh, like this one and the address is here and if we, I'm gonna uh, connect it from the here to the address here okay and uh, now I can compile and save it so uh, next next is the main dish audio reactive spotlight so uh, I'm gonna the new burn print actor CP uh, old audio reactive light so I'm gonna open uh, this blueprint so first of all I'm gonna add the component so obviously spotlight with spotlight spotlight and uh, also I'm gonna add the sphere as well and uh, attach to the default scene root and I'm gonna change the uh, parameter so First one is uh, here is a uh, uh, candelas and the intensity is 50. Also, I'm gonna change the color. So now I'm uh, using the uh, 255 and the 223, 223, and the B is a uh, 160. And also change the uh, outer cone to 28. And also I'm gonna change the volumetric scatter intensity 
to two points. And also I'm gonna change the size of the scale, you know, size of the sphere, 0 0.2. So I also want to the uh, want to make the material uh, uh, the sphere it's for the emissive like volumetric light. So uh, I'm gonna make the new material. So I'm gonna add the new folder. I'm gonna call it the materials. And I'm gonna open the material. No, I'm gonna make the material. And I'm gonna call it M emissive. And I'm gonna save it. And I'm gonna open up. Uh, this is super simple. Uh, I'm gonna click left click with three. So we can uh, make the uh, color node. And I'm gonna uh, change the convert to the parameter. So I'm gonna call it the color. color. And I'm gonna change the color to around uh, like this one. And then I'm gonna put the multiply, multiply node. And also I'm gonna click left click on left click with one. So we can make the uh, scalar parameter. I'm gonna change the parameter and then call it a missive. Mm. Uh, default value is one. So and I'm gonna connect it. it. And I'm gonna uh, connect it to base color. I'm gonna connect it to the emissive color. So now it's uh, like a polymetric color. So uh, I'm gonna uh, apply save. And also I want to make the material instance. So I'm gonna call it. Oh my gosh, my emissive. Okay. So let's go back to the spotlight. And then let's select the sphere. I'm gonna uh, apply the material to MI. So uh, I'm gonna change the emissive parameter to 20. Okay, that's cool. And then uh, so now let's go to the data graph. So first of all, I'm gonna add the new uh, variable, also is address, and then uh, type is string. And also I'm gonna EP received. So this is uh, really important. I'm gonna select the BPOC received. And the both of them I'm gonna be I'm gonna make it be a public. So we can change it uh, in the editor. So first of all, I'm gonna create a I want to change the color of the sphere. And to do that, I need to make the dynamic uh, material instance. So because like it is uh, like a static. So if you want to change the color uh, in the material, so you need to uh, make the dynamic one. So it's a little bit of hassle, but it's you sh you have to do that. So I'm gonna uh, drop to the sphere, and I'm gonna. Uh, at the create no, create a dynamic material instance. and then source material is uh, this one so I'm gonna select this one and click on this so now you can uh, select it easily and I'm gonna connect it, it and I'm gonna make the new part so it's a dynamic MI and I'm gonna set uh, to the sphere, so I'm gonna drag the sphere and I'm gonna uh, add the set uh, material and I'm gonna connect it to here. Okay, the material is attached uh, to the uh, sphere, so we can change the this in, the emissive parameter and also we can change <coughs> intensity of the spotlight. So uh, I'm gonna drag the so uh, let's click on the BPOSD receipt. So if you click the on OSC receipt, so we can get the event. So if we like I get the OSC, so we can get the event. The event is run. So uh, first of all, I'm gonna get the address and I'm gonna add the dun dun dun, no dun 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 is equal exactly string. And then I'm gonna connect it here. So and then I'm gonna I'm gonna add the plunge and connect it. So first of all, uh, I'm gonna change the 
uh, intensity of the spotlight. I'm gonna drag the spotlight. I'm gonna add the intensity. Where is the intensity? Yes. And I connect it here. So uh, from the value, I'm gonna uh, change it to the float. Going to float. And I'm gonna add the multiply. And I'm gonna change it to the 50 or something. And I connect it here. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna bring it to the dynamic MI. And I'm gonna uh, add the set to scalar parameter value. And I need to specify the name. So if you go to the message, you see the uh, message. So, uh, a miss okay so uh i'm gonna uh drag and i'm gonna add the multiply as well so i'm gonna select 30 and connect it so i'm gonna organize all of them and then this is perfect so i'm gonna compile it and i need to make the default value no address is uh, so low And the compile save. Also, I want to set the. And then I'm gonna go to the OS receive. I'm gonna. I forgot to change it to the public. Receive port and the IP address. And the receive port is uh, 5000. Receive IP address is 127.0.0.1, which is a local network. So I'm gonna compile it. Save it. So let's back to the uh, map and I'm gonna drag the OSC receive and then I'm gonna change to the one and also I'm gonna uh, add the uh, spotlight. So uh, I'm gonna uh, place the spotlight. So I placed it the uh, audio reactive spotlight uh, around here so you can change it to whatever you want. So, and then change the rotation and the here. So this is my, uh, the parameter of the transform. And also I need to specify the BPOS to receive. So uh, I'm gonna duplicate this one, copy and paste. And I'm gonna change the location to the next, uh, to the this one. And also I'm gonna copy and paste new one and I'm gonna change the uh, location to here, like this one. And also I'm gonna copy and paste. And the location is around there. And also I'm gonna copy and paste. And I'm gonna change the location around the, there. So I pressed it to the next to the uh, other other side. And so. I also want to change the rotation and the rotation uh, like this one. So now you can see, yeah, it's already cool, right? So imagine if it's like audio reactive, it's really cool. So to be an audio reactive, I'm gonna use the touch designer. So I'm gonna save it. Uh, I'm jumping to the touch designer. And I'm gonna uh, make it the audio reactive system uh, via OSC. I'm gonna add the audio filing and I'm gonna add the audio analysis and I'm gonna connect it, connect it here. And I'm gonna toggle on the mid eye kick snare listen. And then I'm gonna add the select. So uh, what I'm gonna use is low mid eye. Uh, snare rhythm and I'm gonna add the rename and I'm gonna change the name uh, because it is uh, for the address oh no 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 slash and then asterisk so this is uh, mandatory and I'm gonna add the no and I'm gonna add the chop two and I'm gonna uh, to go on the include name, I'm gonna change the low per channel and I'm gonna add the new and I'm gonna add the dot execute and I'm gonna drop the dots and I'm gonna use a cell change 
So I'm gonna uh, write a little bit <coughs> uh, short code to uh, send the OSC. So op uh, OSC one uh, dot send OSC, and the first argument is uh, uh, address. So that uh, no, sorry, sorry, not that one. I need to the whole cell in cells. Sorry, cells and semicolon. And I'm gonna uh, intend uh, op OSC out send OSC that uh, cell dot low and the slash zero. And the second argument is value. So cell dot value. So now I don't have a OSC out, so I need to add the OSC out. And I'm gonna change the uh, port to 5000. Okay, and I'm gonna save it. So if you go to the uh, Unreal Engine, so let's uh, play. Yeah, we can't, <laughs> we can't uh, uh, get the OSC. So I think uh, programming is uh, OSC receive. Let's open the OSC receive. Oh yeah, that's so stupid. I forgot to connect the create OSC server from the begin play. And I also need to click uh, enable the start listening. Okay. <clears throat> and I'll compile it, disable it. So let's see what is gonna happen. Uh, let's go. Wow, so cool. This is audio reactive trail with Gaussian splatting. So uh, you can change uh, the address like uh, the first two lines low and the sec uh, third one and the fourth one is full high and the fifth one is mid. So let's do that. We need to bring it back and do that. So more like a uh, it's a little bit like uh, they have a uh, like variety uh, of the uh, light. Mm, cool. So I need to delete the first spotlight. Yeah, it's more cool, right? Wow. Yes, this is it. So we could make the audio reactive uh, lighting, dynamic lighting uh, with the Gaussian sprouting model. So next video, we're going to more audio reactive shape uh, like this one. So I also share the, the PLY file as well. So you don't need to scan uh, it. So you can uh, make it exactly the same one. And catch you in the next video and let's keep learning.